same rules. If you're eating in a meeting, you have to bring enough for everybody else. Yeah, I missed the cookies and the pizza too. All right, we are recording. So whenever you want to read it. All righty. So there are a couple of things that uh, I have to do to start the meeting. First of all is to remind everybody that we're being recorded. Um, I think that's, that's, oh, it says it here. And then I have a little script to read that makes all of this official to have a, uh, a public meeting uh, via Zoom, uh, which is to say that pursuant to Governor Baker's March 12th, 2020 order suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law, general law chapter 30A, section 18, this meeting of the Transportation Advisory Committee is being conducted via remote participation. Roll call to check and make sure everyone's uh, video and audio working properly. Okay, I think we've done that. Um, the meeting is being recorded and could be shown on Amherst Media and broadcast on the Town of Amherst YouTube channel. Um, call the meeting to order. Also, remind the people you're dialing, blah, blah, blah. blah how's it? Um, talking about being muted, but we're all very good Zoom participants, so we don't think you need to worry about that. Um, and then um, we hosts and co-hosts have the authority to move people to the attendee um, from between the two lists of attendee that we can't see or hear to the panelists that we do see in here. Uh, speaking of which, I have an, oh, nope, I won't go away. Okay. Um, and so I'm going to close that. So thank you very much for, for everybody for, for coming. And I appreciate uh, you're coming a half an hour earlier than we said we might want to come uh, last time. It, it, it helped some of us to be a little bit earlier. And I, I don't know, given that it's so easy to travel back and forth uh, between Zoom meetings, if this is an okay time generally. Um, for me, it is. Uh, but we, we'll talk about that um, at the end when we set our, up our next meetings. Hi, Tracy. Hi. I've been on Zoom meetings for the last four or five hours. <laughs> it's a really beautiful day out. You know, you can Zoom from outdoors too. But you I, well, then I know, but then I'm not on my like laptop, but I might, I might try that. <laughs> yeah, no, the problem with outdoors too is the glare. I, it's, I've been doing that outside just because it is. Uh, so I'm, I might just turn off my, I might turn off my video. You're allowed. <laughs> So. Um, so, and Amber, thank you very much for the for uh, sending the agenda. Um, I don't know if you've all seen it. There's a lot of stuff on it. Um, it really, a lot of it's pro forma. Um, I appreciate that. We're trying to, the, the town is trying to organize things. So we are called to order. I have no announcements and I'm gonna hold off public comments if there are any for a little bit later. Um, we haven't any hearings. And I, Gilbert, I still think that's a mistake because we don't have authority to hold hearings. So I don't know if we could change that word to listenings or public events or something else like that. I, maybe I should talk to Paul about that. Um, and we don't have any minutes to approve. So um, um, we, I want to get right down to uh, number five, which is committee organization. Um, we, when we formed, um, well, one of the things that we never have done um, as a committee, and um, it becomes maybe a little bit more important as we talk about, as we try to figure out how we're going to, to work in this new system of government that we have going on. We've never talked about how we organize ourselves. We've twice picked chairs and vice chairs, and I think I think we're required also to uh, choose a clerk. Is that, is that right, Guilford? It's up to you whether you want to choose a clerk or not. That's part of the rules you also need to put together because this committee has never put together rules. So um, we don't have any rule. We've been operating kind of um, ad, ad hoc. And um, I think even, even before we dig into our charge and and consider our uh, formal relationship with the town government, we might want to just organize that. Um, and um, I don't know, Guilford, um, you having a lot more experience with all of this than us, 
Um, are there some suggestions for how we might uh, <laughs> might be organized? I, I think you guys have a good, you have a good setup the way it is now for the way the committee functions. Bernie might want to throw in some other things, but. We, we, yeah, we, we only really need a chair. Um, and uh, we need to have, we need to be certain minutes are kept. Um, whether that's a transcription, the recording doesn't count as minutes. It's usually have a vice chair for when the chair is not available. Yeah, yeah, um, so, yeah. We've 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 had a, a vice chair, and I, I I do like that because that that makes it easier to to organize things. And and um, and and I I don't know if we want to re retain the office of clerk for. Uh, for this because um, the transcription, isn't the transcription automatic, Amber? Is that what I understand? Um, so I'm still trying to figure that out in this. So this is automatically recorded and then it has a running transcript down the side. Um, I There is a transcript with it, but it's in a file that my work computer could figure out how to open. So mm -hmm. I'm emailing IT about it. But yeah, Hopefully. I mean, there is technically a transcript, but I don't know exactly how to suck it out of Zoom just yet. What's we, the we really file? Don't. I was going to say, know. what's the file um, file type? I don't even remember. It's something okay. I've honestly never seen before. Yeah. We, we uh, don't. The we, file we type for the transcript of the yeah. Zoom meeting? It comes yeah. as a text, a TXT file. Oh, it, I, it didn't, I didn't have it as a text file. Oh, you didn't? Okay, that's how I... Yeah. Um, so, um, I, I'm going to suggest that we then retain the office of clerk just as somebody who can be the point person for um, whatever has to happen with that transcript, um, e even if it's just to make sure it gets published or just make sure it gets brought to the committee so that we can um, we can um, accept it or, or whatever it is that we do to minutes. That was the easy part. Now comes the interesting part is when when do these offices, when are these officers, um, uh, when are they renewed? When does uh, when does the, um, the the period for them for their their term their responsibility start? Um, and uh, in the past, it's been understood and never written down, but understood that when there is um, a reconfiguration of the committee, when somebody uh, during one of the regular um, elections and nominations, uh, at the end of that process, when the new person comes on or the, the, a, a seat is, is refilled, um, that we ask the question again, who should be our three officers? Um, and I would offer that as a proposal for um, how, how to do business. Sounds that, good to me. that rarely happens with me. Yeah, no, it sounds good to me. Mm -hmm. uh, which, which then sort of goes on. Um, I'm trying to remember. So, so. Amber, I guess maybe maybe you can help. Given how much stuff has been postponed and repostponed, and um, when are terms official now? Um, I don't. I think Guilford's going to have to answer that. It's yeah. I really am not sure. I haven't seen any communication from town hall about. Uh, wrapping everything up after this. So everybody's term is valid right now and you have one vacancy. So um, you have two people, Tracy and Aaron, who will, their terms end in July, uh, end of June next year. Did but Kim get officially renewed? Excuse me? Did Kim get officially renewed? Uh, she has a message from the manager saying she's to stay on and she's in the process of being renewed. Oh, okay, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah, because I mean, sometimes when it, when she's being renewed, right, it will go to the it will go to the TSO and stuff too. 
Like I sometimes, like you know, with Eve, right? She was expected to like fill out the the form again, like the the calf again, and to like quote, like kind of formally reapply, even though you're a reappointment. She actually did that, and it got lost in the shuffle about March, April time period, and everything was shutting down and not meeting. So. Yeah, that's been the, uh, and I, so that's that's all part of all of this, this yeah, kerfuffle, I guess, has to do with, in our case, with just getting started again, because we were in that hiatus as well. We fell into that, that hole. So I guess one question I had about the vacancy is, I mean, the town manager has been working for a while to fill vacancies of different committees, but I haven't seen the TAC advertised yet. So... I mean, it is always really helpful to be to be at full strength with the committee, so it's easier to have a quorum. Yeah, I mean, we, we did talk about that at the at the meeting last week, uh, as you remember, Tracy. Tracy and I were at the TSO, and we we talked about um, the charge, which we'll be getting to next. Um, and I, I think um, just regarding the the, the vacancy um, part of I'm going to guess, and that's all it can be. Part of it's not being filled is because it's not clear uh, to me anyway that anybody knows what to do with the TAC. Uh, what its constitution should be, is six enough, is seven, do they really need to fill a spot? There seems to be a lot of uncertainty and, um, well, I, I, I think I called it uh, sort of benign neglect. Um, So I'm not going to worry about that quite yet. That's something that uh, that we, we might want to tackle. I guess, um, I mean, I mean, it's just a question in terms of having quorum. That's all. Right, because of where committee is. Well, I guess what? either either way, if we're six or seven, you have to have a majority. So you would always have to have four. Is that right? It's always four, yes. Yeah. Uh, one of the things that I, I, I did say to the TSO, and, and I, I mean it, is that you know, I'm not too worried about quorum because all of you have been very good about getting to meetings and, and doing the work. And so um, while I would love to have seven, um, I, and I'll, I'm going to maybe even urge that we get the seventh, um, it seems to me that you've all stepped up to do the work and they want to continue to put nine neglect us and not fill that spot. Um, I feel like we can get a lot of work done nonetheless. Um, all right, so um, it's my tendency, my habit to sort of roll, a, roll the conversation along and let it be a consensus and not call for votes on, on things. Um, I know that it's just, just because it's me, you know, I, I spent a lot of time in Quaker meeting where things are work, do tend to work out by consensus. And actually, again, the committee has been very good about uh, dealing with contention and, you know, figuring it in. But I, I imagine Guilford, or maybe I'm gonna I put it out to the committee that, that we ought to just say, yes, that we've organized ourselves in this way, chair, vice chair, clerk, and that um, the, the offices are um, reappointed um, by some magical process at the course of, and it was, it would, it, would it be called a fiscal year or a committee year? What is June I would, 1st? I would just suggest you pick a date. You, you know, that the committee reorganizes every June or the committee reorganizes, uh, um, you know, you can either fiscal year, be uh, uh, you know at the the uh, the end of June. Um, I, I would I would just I just pick a date um, and and not go by. You don't have to worry about it. I mean, there's no. I, I don't recall from the bylaws that there uh, and and really would need to check, but I don't recall. It's been a couple of years now that there was a. Uh, uh, there's been any kind of formal process in the bylaws around organizing a committee. You need to have a convener, you need to have a chair. Um, basically, uh, a, uh, uh, members of the committee can 
call a meeting in the absence of the chair. Uh, and uh, um, I would just pick a date. So I was just going to suggest that you don't pick July 1st, which is kind of the date we used to use with the Public Transportation and Bicycle Committee, because so many people are sort of off and the committee often doesn't meet in the mm -hmm. summer. So make sure. it more like May 1st or something. Yeah, just pick a date. And, and, in, and in terms of operating by consensus, that's fine, uh, as long as the minutes show that there was, um, you know, there was a consensus, uh, there, there was no objection. Yeah, and the only time that that would be um, a problem is if both the chair and the vice chair um, cycled out at the same time and were replaced. But I, I'm not so sure I would even worry about that. That's another reason to do it off the July 1st, because that's when the, you'd be, you'd lose your people. Yeah, either that or on July 1st, because you might lose those two people and you <laughs> now have the mechanism for replacing them immediately. But that, I mean, that's sort of what happened this time. And then there was no vice chair. And I don't know, I think you guys want to have it ahead of time. Uh, so Guilford, when is a when is a good date in the in the calendar of things to to consider? And I'm, I would say, um, sort of accepting the, the the Bernie's proposal that it's the first time that we meet in the month of, and I don't know what that month would be. Well, May is a good is, May was suggested. That's as good a month as any. And you, you're going to know who's going to be cycling off the committee um, by you know by then. So. Hi, Kim. Hello, sorry I'm late. Hi, Kim. Not at all. We've, we've, we've been able to roll along quite fine without you, I'm sorry to say. Uh, no, so actually though, I had a question about if we make it in May, and I mean in some cases, right, like recently the town manager didn't reappoint people who were eligible for reappointment to committees. So maybe we wanna make it in April or something, or like the first meeting in May. I'm just wondering like if it ever extends, if the discussion about, anyway. But, yeah, Whatever point. month we pick, that, that, is, that can be an issue. And, and um, you know, if there's a vice chair, if, if both the chairs are not disappearing at once, there's a, there's a, a ready solution for that or a ready remedy for that. Um, so Kim, we're just, we're just figuring out our organization. We're up to number five already. Oh, wow. Um, so we, we've decided, yeah. <laughs> so, I think we skipped um, around. <laughs> you kind of skipped over a lot of stuff, yeah. Um, oh, you've given it away. Um, any event, so um, we're, we're, we're moving towards some sort of a formalizing, and I guess it's, it's again, it's not my, my style so much, but I think it's important in this case to take yeah. a vote on um, having three officers, uh, chair, vice chair, and a clerk. Um, and um, the, the duty of the clerk is a little bit different now because of automation and Zoom and everything else, but it'll just be to, to collate and be sure that we get um, the, the transcript of our recorded meetings, you know, into the committee um, in a suitable manner, to, so, suitable manner so they can be minutes that can be accepted. Um, and, and we're trying to figure out when a good time might be to select and elect those officers um, in the course of the calendar. And right now, I guess, uh, first, our first meeting in May um, sounds like it might be the leading candidate. Okay, thank you. Sounds good to me. I think everyone keeps talking about May, so let's just use May. <laughs> um, is there a motion? I motion that we move to redo the committee every May. The I first will, meeting in every May. I will second. Um, and I, I'm going to just, just uh, as part of further discussion, um, to, to, to point out that 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 includes the three officers and, and their duties that we've, we've outlined. Yeah. Further discussion? Boy, it's been a long time since I've done that. All those in favor, uh, I guess, um, yeah, I guess we don't have, this is not the roll call we're required to make. This can just simply be, um, I don't know, voice, a voice vote. 
All those in favor say aye, and we'll just sort of let it tumble over. Aye. 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 Is there anybody abstaining? And anybody voting no? Excellent, thank you very much. I'm, I'm gonna have to figure out that process. I, I don't know that that worked out so well. Maybe hands- We might need to run through by name by name. Yeah, yeah. That's actually, okay. yeah. That's actually how the council does it, they do. Right. So, um, all right. Now, uh, Kim has a, Kim has a uh, her hand up. Um, oh, look at that. I, I'm just curious as to who, so you're the chair. Is Eve still the vice chair? That's a good point. We have a, a vice chair or a clerk right now because both of them have cycled off. I'm not on the committee, so. Right. So perhaps we should, um, you know, make one, a vice chair at least, for now. Um, I think that's a very good idea. Do you have a suggestion, Kim, as to who might want to be vice chair? Uh, I'm going to nominate you if you don't say something. Yeah, I could do, I could do that. <clears throat> I, just, I just think it's important for the continuity of the meeting. You know, I'm, I'm a very bad example by being late, but, um, <laughs> you know. Well, no, I appreciate that. And, um, and, and I just point out that I guess uh, there, there's, so, so that, that's, that's, that question is answered. Thank you very much. And so that'll be, the term will be until our first meeting in May. Um, do we want to consider um, uh, selecting a, a new chair or a chair at, at this point since it's been I, I think the several chair, months the current, since our I think first the May? The chair is perfectly fine. <laughs> well, I, I appreciate and I understand that, that, this, that, that being perfectly fine ends at our first meeting in May, and that's, that's, I think that's good. Okay. So the, the, the hard part, um, considering the committee's charge is number six. Um, I, I just, just by the way, on the, on the, um, on the agenda, I included uh, as number seven, developing the conference of work plan and um, eight, developing the prioritization matrix, which is the name that I call it. Eve probably has a smarter name for it. I'll, I'll talk, get you to Eve. Um, and then, um, um, and then committee comments and, um, I don't know that we'll get to those directly to, or even tonight. Um, those, I, I put them there because they were part of, um, it seemed to me an important part of the discussion that we had with the TSO, or that I had with the TSO last, last Thursday. Um, so Eve. Sorry, I just wanted to suggest that you guys actually vote on the chair and the vice chair. I am. I actually had a question too, Aaron. Um, so Gilbert had mentioned that your term and my term, Aaron, are up in uh, in June of 2021. Now, I mean, I'm a first. This is my first term, so I could be reappointed right now. But I guess you're not able to be. Similarly to eight Eve, the the. The policy would be that you would have to um, yeah, go off that's, the committee. Yeah, that's, that's my understanding as well. Okay. But you see, we have a nice mechanism in place for replacing any offices that we happen to be rotating out of when it comes that time. Um, so, so I think I think Eve, it's a it's an excellent suggestion, and um, I'm going to uh, look for a motion, Bernie. I so move. Is there a second? Second. For the discussion, all those in favor, raise your hand so the camera can see it. So I don't know um, how that's actually recorded. That's, that's unanimous. I'm gonna say it out loud. Um, so it gets into the transcript as unanimous, but- uh, I think we need to get one by name by name. I think that's oh, the only yeah. way we can do it. Yeah. yeah if, there, if it's but not also like the, right the motion was was the motion that Aaron would be chair and Kim would be yeah, that's, chair. That's correct. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what I heard. Um, <laughs> yeah. So um, the, the the so the next slide. So uh, I went to the, to the TSO last week to talk about um, what 
um, I, I guess in a nutshell, what our, the TAC's role might be um, in our new town governance and the structure that we have. And um, actually it was well received. There were some concerns raised. Uh, the principal among them was that the charge that we have um, is, is, is not a good fit with, um, does how, with it, it's not a, it doesn't describe well what our work is relative or, or should be relative to the new town governance. And um, the idea that we might just strike out select board and put in town council um, doesn't work so well, uh, doesn't work perfectly. Um, and um, um, so the, 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 the big task that, that I took away from it was for us to rejigger our charge so that it does fit into, as, as, as a proposal um, to the TSO and to the town council as, as, you know, how we might, as a description for how we see TAC should inter, interface with the town government. Um, the, um, so I presented to the TSO, basically what we spoke about two weeks ago, um, including our reluctance to take on downtown parking. Um, and, um, and like I say, it was well received. There were the, the, the principal question besides, or questions besides, well, how does your charge work um, in the nature, the way things are now, um, was, you know, so, so, so what, what, are your, what are your documents? What documents do you use? Um, how um, you know? How would we inter interact with the public that doesn't either sort of uh, 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 um, come against the way the town council wants to interact with the public? Um, how do we hold public meetings? Or all of these sort of these questions that swirl around. Um, in the intervening week, um, since I've been thinking about that, and and. Tracy was also was listening into the meeting. Uh, I don't. I think she was there for most of it, or most least the time that I was was chatting, and 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 talking with the um, with the TSO. Um, but it was generally well received. Um, although there seems to be a big. Guilford was there as well, so I'm going to look look to Guilford to chime in and make sure I got, I got the high points anyway. Um, really, they are curious about how we would do our work, what that work is um, in, our new, in our new system of governance. And the vehicle for that would be um, the, um, you know, the charge. And, and so uh, the big task that I think we, we took away from that is to, to rework our charge. So, so Guilford, Tracy, did I do that okay? I would say yes. So um, I'm hoping that you've all had time to look at our charge and, and maybe even the, um, the best practices, which was um, a follow on to the, the transportation report um, that, um, that uh, Nelson Nygaard did for us, did for the town, not for us, but for the town to help them figure out how best to constitute a transportation advisory committee and, and they, they took some case examples and they found one model seemed to fit best with with the town of Amherst and the select board at the time agreed and that's 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 how we came into being um, and I, I one of the things that I liked about that document in trying to think about how we might frame our discussion today uh, let me get it up is that it was very clear about um, four things that that the, the advisory committee should do um, to work. Where is that now? Um, uh, specifically, the TAC should have four primary roles: maintain a work program, and that's that's in our charge review, summarize, and then funnel transportation-related requests generated by committees, boards, town staff, and the public upwards 
to the select board, and we understand why that's a problem, with a recommendation for action, and then to receive transportation-related directives and requests and move them downwards from the select board uh, review, summarize, and assign responsibilities, including to town staff and other boards, and then internally generate transportation-related requests of subcommittees, other committees, the select board, and town staff as necessary. So um, I sort of as a foundation, I think that is what I would like to suggest that we work with. Um, and having read those out loud, I'm wondering what we think. Do you mind, could you share your screen, Aaron, that, that document? Yes, um, what I'm going to do, all right, I mean, let me do a little, little hocus pocus. I have to, um, uh, I wanna cut this one page out because it's a big- Oh big yeah, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. It actually used to be on the town, used to be on your page on the town website, but I don't see it now. It yeah, it, it isn't, I noticed that it was gone, but I did send it to everybody. Um, the, its title is, um, uh, oh. I, I my last email, TAC best practices. Okay, I'll look. Yep. Um, um, yeah, Aaron, is that on the TAC website? I've actually never seen this document before. No, it used to be on the TAC website um, until, well, it was there at the beginning of the year. I remember thinking I've seen it. And when I went back to look at it, look for it after the TSO meeting, uh, there's a, there's a blank, there's a, a placeholder where it used to be on the website. It is buried in the document archives that if you go searching um you can find I'll have it to, i'll have to look at the history of that because i haven't changed you guys's website around at all so somebody else must have gotten in there and taken it off well i could imagine that as uh, because it's buried so deeply in the archives there's a number of links to get to it and any one of them could have been broken um actually let me try to share with you now see this works does anybody see anything yeah, yeah. I can see it. definitely yep yes thank you hey all you right it's it. a then I could have done it thank you Gilbert <laughs> these are these are new zoom powers I have and I'm trying to experiment with them yeah, isn't technology grand? So, um, I, I, you know. Minimize your screen so we can see. Oh, that's all four of them are right there. Sorry. That's all four. Yeah, yep. all four. They, they all fit. It's very, you know, it, it's, it's as, as, you know, something so comprehensive. It really is very, very tidy and small. And I, I don't know um, if you can do that for the um for the um the charge Gilford as well i believe i have the power you can you, yeah you could yeah the problem with the charge is it's like two pages long so it's huge well you know even at two pages is that really huge um yeah um it is long. I, I mean, yeah. it is huge is as, as things go i mean you really um I mean, I, I've read through it twice now, and I'm I'm still I have to go through it again. I apologize. I've been working on. I've actually been working, so I've not had as much time as as I might. Um, but um, uh, you know, I I think it, what we might do is we've got these four primary roles. Maybe fall through each of those and see what um, see what we can come up with as a. a sort of a start well you know that that's that's good but i was i was thinking sort of the other way around and and uh, by asking the sort of the first question is um well okay so we have this charge and as you point out it is kind of i think it might be the longest it's certainly the most comprehensive because when you say transportation you're including well you know i'm, I'm going to say it out there, there, there are five networks that that um, you know we've come to understand mm -hmm. are part of transportation. There's the cars that we all think about. 
Um, there's the sidewalks that we all, you know, think about when it's winter. Um, they're the, they're the, the bicycling paths that we, we're trying to build in town. Um, but there's also a, a transit network and a commercial network. So how, how buses and how trucks move um, are, you know, uh, separate networks have separate considerations. Um, so I was going to sort of maybe work it the other way, which is to ask, well, what part of the charge um, needs to be changed um, or, or, you know, and including maybe taken out? And um, I actually, in sort of going over it and un underlining the tasks that are in it, um, you know, I kind of like it. Um, the problems that I have with it are specifically with its relationship to the town government, because it, 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 it does um, indicate how we're supposed to work with the select board. Um, town manager and, and public works are in there, which is appropriate, and probably that, that relationship it hasn't changed. But um, how do we how do we fold this into a uh, into a town select board into a town council? Um, and I'm I'm happy um, to do it the other way. Um, it, it may may be. Um, um, no, we we can. I was just throwing that. You're you know you're you're driving the bus here. You know, keep it in transportation related. So just let's let's go with what you're suggesting. No, no, no. I'm coaching the team. I'm not driving any bus. We, we got to, <laughs> um, no, no it, it's actually as much a matter of how comfortable we can be with the charge. And uh, I would accept, you know, hey, you know, it's, it's just too unwieldy. It's crazy. And, and maybe it's not worth salvaging, um, even as much as I, as I like it. And, and maybe partly because I was, um, it, it, I think two of us were at the founding. We didn't write much of it, but we were there when it was happening. Do we do we need to call out the five different kinds of uh, transportation and not just talk about the town way versus the yes. not town way? And like actually kind of refer to it like that because I mean, otherwise, you know, okay, cars, well, what about motor scooters? What about, you know, everyone's going to just kind of start going, what about, what about, what about? Let's just stick to it. Like, if it's tarmac, it's us. If it's a path, it's us. And then we're good to go, you know. Sorry. And then I see Tracy's got a hand up, so I will um, oh. yield my time. <laughs> I know Mark is still, I mean, I think that I was just seconding your point. Um, I mean, there's a, and I think it would be helpful because a lot of, it seems like some of the discussions with the council and with the TSO about the TAC have been, because you know the TAC is, a, I mean, because the um, council is are officially the keepers of the public way, which the select board were also officially the keepers of the public way, but whatever that means. And when I've talked to counselors about it, I've also said, well, we also look at a lot of other aspects of transportation besides just directly tied to day to day things related to the public way. So I would like to see that in the charge. Um, and I did, I did have a few other comments too. I don't know, are we just opening it up for general comments, Aaron? Yeah, for now, I don't, I haven't figured out a good way to, to structure it. And sort of, I'm not ready to zoom in on the, the individuals, the clauses okay. themselves, but, uh, right. but just before, and I'm going to let you go on, Tracy, but just, I just want to say the reason, the reason I mentioned the five networks is not for the charge, but that's for us. The charge is very clear in that there's no clarity. It says it's it's about the public way. It's about transportation, and it does mention um, public transportation, bicyclists, and pedestrians as as individually. But um, I guess it, it takes for granted that everybody knows about buses and cars and trucks. Yeah, I would I would not. Well, and things that, yeah, and things that are off road too, right? Like right. I mean, we talk about sidewalks and paths and things that aren't close to public ways. And I would think that we would, you know, be pr promoting the development of footpaths between, you mm -hmm. know, like the Groff Park, the one that goes from Groff Park to Southeast yeah. Street, that sort of thing, you know, just, yes, public way, yes, not public way, but not get into like well, bicyclists, hiking, you know, it's just like, we start getting too, um, too, 
descriptive, then we, you know, then we start losing um, our abilities. But I, I mean, maybe I think just to have something up front, like in terms of like we different modes to make it clear that we're about different modes. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, isn't there, I mean, we're actually on the second page right now. Is that correct of the charge? Like, because I think well, the front of the charge. Oh, right. We're, I'm sorry. We're in the best practices report. Yeah, we're, we're skirt. Oh, um, yeah. What we're looking at is best practices. What we're talking okay. about is perilously close to the front of the, um, of the charge. Right. And I don't know, I don't know if, if, so, if, I mean, I do have two like main, com main comments as I read this over again. So I guess with regards to work program, and I saw that this was work program is on your agenda too, but it seems to me, right? So, I mean, we are volunteers on this. Like when I look at number one, maintain a work program of cost timeframes, responsible parties for each and every transportation policy and project within Amherst. It seems like some of the, that functionality is a staff functionality. Like I'm sure Guilford is, DPW is keeping a list of like different projects. I mean, we don't, we're not even always aware. I mean, as you know, as came up at some of the meetings, including our last TAC meeting, we're not always even aware of all the different projects that are going on that have um, transportation ramifications, like including that project down on South University Drive, for example, and things that haven't come to the TAC. You know, and the point was made that we don't necessarily need to be involved in everything. So I feel like some of that job, I mean, yes, we can, we can help prioritize things, you know, based on our recommendations, but I don't, I don't know if it's realistic for us to be like the responsible party for keeping the master list of like all the transportation work that's happening in town. So um, I'm, I'm sensing here the compromise between Bernie and me. Um, since we're talking about number one, on the best practices, um, I'm looking over at the at the charge, and see the tasks that are associated with that directly, are to uh, the tasks. Actually, there's there's only one task, and that is to establish and periodically update a work program that will track, evaluate, and prioritize all transportation issues as specified in the Amherst Transportation Plan, Amherst Master Plan and as requested by the select board or the town manager and departments reporting to the town manager or other boards and committees. Um, so um, what, what that, the problem that I'm hearing us talk about with this is that, well, what is that? What is that work plan? And maybe that's something that um, we could be, our charge could be more clear about. And now I wanna point out that's a little bit awkward, normally, committees receive charges. Um, I guess we're very fortunate that we're able to create our own. So this really is our interpretation, you know, the seven of us, the six of us, um, on, on, you know, what we should do, what we want to do. So, um, well, what do you think? I'd like to echo what Tracy said. I, I, I think a lot of this, uh, is beyond our capacity, especially keeping, uh, maintaining the, the costs and timeframes. I, I don't see how we could do that. That does sound more like what the staff would do. To me, it seems more logical that we would just set general priorities and that we would have a work program based on our prioritization plan. But I don't think, I mean, we, we can talk about costs, uh, but I don't see how we could monitor that on a, on a weekly or bi-weekly basis. That just seems beyond our ability. So um, maybe as we're, we're going along, I'm trying to think of what the, the process we might enter into to, to actually get this done, this, this rewrite done. And um, I, I think, so it sounds like um, somebody, and, and we can, decide we can volunteer we can decide who might do that uh, might want to take this second bullet in the uh, in the charge um, which responds to this number one and distill our conversation into rewriting it specifically um, I'll not ask for hands on that yet unless somebody really wants to jump in Guilford um, you know reading this again and actually having the two of these in the same looking at them both at the same time what if you just got rid of all the bullets in the charge 
stuck the four bullets that are here in there with some tweaking so that you're, you're not maintaining that you're prioritizing and, you know, providing input into the work program, maybe some, maybe some tweaking to the words of those four and just get rid of all those bullets because the first comment is, I mean, the first comment tells you what you're supposed to use and things you're supposed to do. And but then the other, all those bullets are telling you how to do your business, but you really don't need to be told that specifically, I think. And I kind of like these four, these four bullets are kind of the four things that actually have a piece in every one of these if you actually read it a bit. You're, you're talking, Guilford, about the four primary roles, maintaining a work program, review, summarize, and then funnel transportation. You're talking about those yes. four? Okay. I'm talking about those four, replacing the, uh, replacing the bullets in the charge. Mm -hmm. oh. That's that makes good. sense to me. Yeah. I mean, I think I agree that I don't think we have the time nor the people to maintain a work program of costs and time frames and all that sort of stuff. But I certainly think that we could be made aware of what is going on by the DPW and move through um, how how that is going on, what's going on, so that we at least have the ability to have input to that. I wouldn't want to, you know, remove one, but at least like uh, Gilbert's saying, like modify it somewhat or a lot. So, so the idea wouldn't be so much to maintain that work program, which suggests creating it and assigning all those costs and everything else, um, as much as it would be to to keep track of whatever work programs there are, um, which is not this similar to. Um, what the Public Works Committee did as far as reviewing, let's say, the uh, the paving plan for next year, as, as an example. And I, I don't know what other plans, what other working plans there are. We have our list of projects that are prioritized. Uh, I don't know if that would be another list that we might include in our charge or suggest in our charge um, to, to look after. Uh, so, so what, what, what is the work plan that we would be monitoring or what, what is the verb that we'd be doing to it, which is we're not maintaining it. Um, and what would the plan be that we're doing that to? Yeah, I think, I mean, review might be going too far because I mean, review would suggest that we have a little bit more input than maybe we want to. Um, but yeah, the choice of verb is, um, I was going to suggest monitor a work program. Yeah, yeah. Monitor. I mean, what uh, and, and make. I mean, and we could say make recommendations or something. I mean, Guilford has come to us, you know, in the past with like, oh, here's this project, oh, here's this project, or I'm changing this policy. I mean, just to let us know about things. You know, monitor and provide recommendations as appropriate or something. It doesn't mean we yeah, need to I, weigh I, in on, we don't need to weigh on, on everything. We just can think about well, what seems the most important. The charge references two documents, the transportation plan and the master plan. The transportation plan is five years old. Um, the master plan is going to be, it's at, it's at end of life. It's, you know, got to, got to be updated it's after 10 years. Those are the two documents that the charge references and, and maybe what we're doing is looking at that transportation plan or directly because the master plan is going to get reworked and using that as a basis to shape the work program. But, but but this, I don't, I, sorry, but I don't, can, Aaron, can you see hands because both Kim and I have had our hands up and nobody's called on us. Yeah, no. What happens is people scroll on my screen, people scroll off. Like I'm I can't, I'm happy, I'm happy when, when he's doing a share screen, I don't think like all of us can appear at the same time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. so you guys, the best way to do that is to go up on top and go to view options and then do the side by side mode. And then you, there's a little bar in the middle and you can scroll over so that you can get the document uh, on one side and then it can be it. Brady Bunch on the other side. Thank, so that thank. way you can see everyone. But yeah, Kim and Eve have been trying to speak for a little bit. So I know Kim was skipped over before if you want to let her have a chance. Thank you, Amber. I, I do, I'm having, I'm having a little trouble getting accustomed to this. It's uh, peripheral vision doesn't work well on this at all. So 
Um, so yes, Tracy, I'm going to let Kim have the floor. Kim. Yeah. So, um, so, so the way that I see that, that we've actually been working, right, is that we're developing this kind of prioritization plan, which, which takes into account our, um, you know, our transportation, our, our t transportation plan and looks forward to the projects that are feasible in the, you know, that have come forward to us and we prioritize them. I feel like we don't actually, um, you know, the, the plans, the, the jobs that are actually being performed, right? It depends on like surprise money that comes available or other projects that get done, which could accomplish the priorities that we, you know, that, that while they're getting done can accomplish the priorities that we have on our list. So I feel like our, our, our real charge is to develop this prioritization plan that's in charge that, that, that um, takes root from the um, transportation plan and push that, give that to um, our, our colleagues in the public works department so that when, jo when the next pot of money comes available, it, you know, that's not closely tied with a very particular project, it can go to slot number one on the prioritization plan. So I feel like that's really, isn't that really what we've been doing? That's, that's been our interpretation of how to uh, maintain this work plan is and, and part of the maintenance is to you know slot everything into the right priority but, but uh, and that, and I agree that's, that seems like a, a, a good way of doing it. We've, we've been going with that because it seems like a very good way of oh you're mute oh yeah um, yes I'm done yes okay got it sorry <laughs> because <laughs> because I feel like we don't I mean we don't necessarily maintain a work program we maintain a prioritization list for the town, you know, and for our transportation plan. That's what I feel like. Yeah. Well, that, that's, that's right. That's how we've done that. So, um, Eve. Yeah, so I agree with Kim and I was headed in that direction too. Um, and I would say not only a prioritization plan, but specifically we've um, assumed that our job has been to update it once a year. So I actually think that that could go in a new charge is that the intent is that the TAC will develop, update a prioritization plan once a year. Um, and then to follow up on Kim's other point, which is the other thing that could go into the charge is what gets taken into account. Um, and the thing that I think is missing from these four points is the idea that the committee is also thinking about sort of long-term priorities and plans um, and, and actually, you know, trying to shape those in thoughtful ways. Um, and also just to follow up from Bertie's, uh, the charge does mention those two documents, but there've been other documents since then, like the complete streets policy and the head plan, which is only in draft form that should also just you know, so it should be like a general reference to documents oh. other than to specific documents. I'm done. Yeah, yeah it's, it's interesting. Those, those other documents that you mentioned, um, they, they, we created those, those afterwards. And I mentioned the TSO. I guess we ended up having, identifying nine documents that we work with. So I'll get to you, right. Tracy, but let me get yeah, the market first. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I just wanted to add on, I think that, uh, Eve brought up a big point. I mean, there's absolutely no big picture parts to the four primary roles here. And I mean, that should be potentially like a fifth primary role, right? Yeah. Is our our big picture view. We're not here for the here and now, just here for the here and now, I should say. We're here for the long run. And that that's a, the one of the biggest roles I think we have, yeah. Would that be an expansion on uh, on number two? Because we're reviewing, summarizing, and funneling. An interesting verb. Um, no, I don't think so. I think that's a br because that just that just assumes that we're reacting, right? Number two is dealing with reacting to the day to day. I think what we're doing is developing a. Sorry, my hands disappearing off into Puffer's pond. Apparently, um, my we are. 
creating a path forward for Amherst that is in a bigger picture. You know, we're not, so we're not reacting, we're being proactive, we are being strategic in our thinking and number one, two is not that. And so that's where we need to, I think, potentially have a number five or a number but, one, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I would see those comments being part of number one, that we're, you know, the prioritization is coming from the guidance of the other documents, that, that one of our roles is to look at the transportation plan, to look at the PED bicycle network plan, to look at the complete streets policy that was adopted by the select board and so on, and to make sure that there's consistency between those documents and what's being focused on for the work, the work program, the priorities. Yeah, Tracy, I think that's certainly part of number one, but do we not want to continue to look forward? And that's, I think, something that we can- No, I think, of yeah, of course. Yeah. I mean, I think it could be both, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. That we're doing it, but I, I do, I mean, one thing that comes up in my mind a lot is I hear about you know different transportation projects in town is how do they tie in like do they reflect the values and the priorities that are in these other plans that Amherst has already adopted I mean such as the complete streets plan or whatever so so I I, I, I mean I do think you want to see I mean I'm not sure whose role it is to see if things are consistent but I would think that that could be part of our advisory responsibility yeah, I, I just I just think that Marcus is making a separate point that um, that he, he's agreeing that all these things should reference the existing plans. This I, I'm speaking for you, Marcus, but tell me if I get it wrong. Um, but there may be other plans that the committee uh, is still invested in producing in the future that are actually not anything that's listed in these four things that may um, be thinking about, you know, like uh, like the ped bike plan that was never finished, you know, that may need to be updated or maybe there's a transit plan in the future, there's a sidewalk plan in the future, whatever, but there may be future plans and that part of the role of the committee is to think broadly enough to be able to think about those, um, those I don't know, that kind of broad long range thinking. And also develop our own plans too, right? You know, not just go with what's written or what we think may be written by somebody else, but we're an advisory committee on transportation. Let's kind of think outside the box. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Eve. Yeah. I um, agree. So I, I can only see five of us at a time. I so if their hands going out, I don't I don't know. Um, maybe Amber, is there a way to Aaron, Aaron, that's what Amber was saying is that you have this split screen that has the shared screen on one side and the view, the little all of us, the Brady bunch of us on the other side. Yeah, you can, can drag you it. You can over. drag the, you can split the window differently, basically. You can uh, make, yes, it, so make it more like half and half. That's better. I got it. I, not, not that I've heard the full instruction I, I uh, or paid attention to the full instruction. I never knew that. So thank you, Amber. Yeah, you're learning so, something new every day here. Yes, Guilford, right? Yes, yeah. When your kids have more Zoom meetings than you every day, you learn a few things. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I guess what, what I'm understanding is that uh, we, we haven't talked about anything else but number one and number five, but number five would be in addition to these four. Um, and, I'm, and I'm sort of thinking about, you know, the, the, the actual, you know, pen on paper construction of this. I think we're only talking about the the one and five because we generally agree with the two, three, and four. No, that's fine. I just yeah. just want to be clear that that's all. Yeah. And and um, and maybe following uh, Bernie's lead, we'll, we'll we'll talk about two, three, and four uh, specifically uh, next. Um, Eve, I think it's worth looking at the charge bullet by bullet. If not in this meeting, then in a future meeting to see if there's any other pieces that are in the existing charge that um, we feel like, or you feel like, excuse me, um, are still missing from uh -huh. even one through five. Well, I will, I will confess to be doing a little exercise here besides learning how to zoom um, of, of looking at our charge at the same time as we're looking at these bullets and sort of imagining which pieces of the charge would slide underneath the number, what bullet would go under which number. 
right. um, and that and that might become the the foundation of the exercise to to start the rewrite. Mm -hmm. I mean, going to pay attention. Who who is that? Tracy, go ahead. Um. So with regards to two, I mean, uh, to start with two. Let's see. So I feel like three is pretty straightforward, right? That the well, not the select board, obviously, but the town town staff, the town council, and so on can ask us to get involved or to take a look at different topics. So at one of the TSO meetings, right, the TSO said, wow, we really would like to hear the tax um, weigh in on the Lincoln and Sunset, for example. Um, so two, to me, feels a little more complicated. Um, and I think, you know, one, one of the things I've heard in terms of feedback, um, and Guilford raised this and Paul raised this at the TSO meeting, Paul Bachelman, is just where you know, if somebody, and I actually, and sometimes too, like I get emails from friends or colleagues and they say, I have a concern about um, this transportation issue or this, you know, this intersection in my neighborhood or whatever. And where do those requests go? Um, and it ties to me a little bit into one too. So I know that like Guilford has come to us before with his long list of all the different requests that have come into the town. Um, but then I didn't know whether I mean, this is pretty specific, but like there's also that C click fix program that has some big and some small transportation things. Is that incorporated into the spreadsheet that Guilford shared with us? Is that a different stream? Um, and then the question to me too is, you know, if a, if a community member, and we've had people come to our, the public com and comment, like public comment part of our meetings. I mean, sometimes there can be a lot of public comments you know, people have come about Amity and people have come about North Amherst and so on. But the thing is, if, are we, I mean, is it good for people to come to, like, what's this, what's the order in which people should be contacted? Like, what's kind of like the chain of authority or, you know, um, if you will, because I think that people can get really frustrated if, um, if people come to us and they say, wow, I'm very concerned about this but then nothing happens. Um, like, are we the, are we, should we be the first line, you know, or, and how does that then get put into, I mean, or maybe to make it really clear about how that then becomes one of the priority projects or not. Um, just like, or should, you know, should people, like I know sometimes I've been forwarded emails that were sent to town staff or to the town manager or certain council members or, whatever, so, and they, they go to them first, right? So what it should, be, should, you know, somebody like Paul or a council member say, oh no, wait, the, the TAC is looking at this, like that can be on their next agenda. So just to make it clear to committee members when they have concerns about where to go and how the process continues in terms of how they're, how it's considered. So that, that's, that's, that's excellent point. Um, oh, bye Amber. Um, uh, that's a very good point in that, um, uh, which, it, and it leads me to tell a story as, as I uh, do. Um, one of the important things that the select board thought uh, that the TAC would do or could do or should do um, is to be sort of the place you, if anybody has a question and, and that there is, there was an issue um, with, um, the community uh, not uh, being satisfied or receiving satisfaction in uh, when they made a request regarding um, regarding uh, uh, transportation issues and and the, the lack of satisfaction was as as well mostly perceived as hey I don't know who to talk to I just don't know where to go and 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 I go here or I go there and I don't get an answer and I don't get any any reasonable response and the 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 sense that um that, that i brought to the the TAC was that yeah we're we're that you know we're we're charged and it is in the charge and i've got to find the um the actual phrase with that primary communication and uh, when i spoke to the tso i sort of interpreted that as being yes we're we're, we're a, a place for people to bring 
issues. Um, but we, you know, we'll only take, you know, we'll put them into the right place. I mean, if, if it's, if it's a maintenance issue, Guilford gets it. If it's, if it's a, a design element of the pedestrian and bicycle network, then we'll take that and put it into that project. Is it straight? If it's traffic calming, um, that's a separate process. If it's a stop sign, we don't want to talk about it. Um, speed limits, we might consider. But at any event, everything would come to us and then go off into the right place. Um, and one of the things that has been valuable um, in, in our past is that we have said, no, you know, you're, you're not, you know, that's not, you don't get that. That's not something, you know, or, and so that's been, that's one thing. And the other thing has been, huh, that's a good idea. We need to figure out how to implement that. No, that's not traffic calming. That is, you know, the need for something else, or that's not something else that is traffic calming. Isn't that just um, something though, in terms of how the public access the town? So it's a way, it's a, you know, website access. It's some, some means that channels, you know, it's more procedural, I should say, than rather than our operational issues, right? Well, I mean, I guess, I mean, so part of the question is, you know, for example, if a community member contacts, contacts the town manager, or if the community member contacts DPW, like, do we, should those go to the TAC too? I mean, I just, I mean, or is attack even going to hear about those? Well, I think you know, I, would hope. I mean, so it's like, it just has to be sort of clear, like the, I mean, to me, yeah. a little bit on the lines about how things come and how things are dealt with. And I mean, I feel like the TAC doesn't get a lot of those messages that come to the town manager or the town council or the DPW. But I mean, we don't necessarily, again, you know, back to like the work program idea, we don't need to weigh it on everything. And I mean, and Guilford has stuff on his list that he's shown us that are like, I mean, I mean, they're not going to be high priority items like they're brought up by one person and, you know, there's limited resources and so on. And uh, I mean, yeah, so. no, I, I agree, Tracy. And I think Guilford, you were going to say something. I think that's the second step. Um, yeah. After you figure out your ta your your charge and then we can start talking about how to roll things together. Mm -hmm. But because even even the even the council hasn't pulled that together yet of how they want this to roll. So figuring out what you really want the charge to be, and then you can sit down and we can go through different types of things and figure out which ones. Yeah. Cause if there's a maintenance thing, you're not going to see it. If it's a maintenance thing and people keep complaining about it, then maybe you see it. But um, those, those are, those would be the next step. I would think you might want to. Yeah. Take one bite we, of the we not want to see it either. Um, and um, so, so the, the, the task that I'm uh, sort of the editing task that I'm seeing coming out of this is to, to, um, um, to enumerate or in, in some way, the, the requests that we would see as, as going on to our work plan and just to, to something that we would handle and everything else goes off. To, 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 the, to the right place, which is not us necessarily. I think some of it, I mean, now that we have an agenda, we just set an agenda item that says mm -hmm. DPW provides um, a, a summary of incoming requests from the last, you know, since the last meeting or something. I mean, that's, right. that's really the way to handle that. We don't necessarily need to write, you know, to, to Gilbert's point, we don't need to write it into anything here that's just something we do operationally <clears throat> and we continue to move forward. I think the bigger thing is, you know, getting these four or five roles into that charge, getting that nailed down, looking at the bigger picture, what are we here to do? And then the, the individual project staff, the, uh, you know, the complaints, that sort of stuff. That's, that's just agenda items, you know, because I we, know. I think, I think there is a, a need for us to understand those because yes you might get it from one person but it might actually trigger you to consider it in a bigger picture for a later thing you know a few years down the road or whatever but just being aware of what is going on is certainly helpful but i don't think it's necessarily a um something we need to write about so but i guess to me i like i feel like when i look at number two i just want 
I mean, I agree that we don't need to have all the specifics about how that works. But at the same time, I think it, like if we're gonna have it in our charge, like are we, you know, review, summarize, final requests from committees, board, staff, I mean, I guess to the select board, I mean, I would think that like staff and some of this thing would go right from committees or boards or staff to the town council directly. And that I just, I, I just, <laughs> I mean, I just even from a conceptual standpoint about like what happens with stuff from the public. I mean, does, I mean, Guilford, is there a master list of like all the requests? I mean, the C click fix, is that like tied in with other lists too? Like, is there some master list of everything that people are requesting? Are they, are they different documents? Before you answer that, Guilford, I want to hear what Eve has to say. You know, this is unfortunate because oh. You know, in a real meeting, I can actually sort of nod, and so you don't have to keep raising your hand, but mm -hmm. oh, I can't do that. Uh, Eve. Thanks. Um, so I just wanted to give Marcus a little background on where this came from, and, and maybe Bernie, too. Um, so back when we did the transportation plan about five years ago, one of the key things that came out was that there's so many different places that people go to with transportation requests that it gets to be this complete tangle and certain parties go to you know and then the select board now the town council other would go to town meeting others would go to the TAC, others would go straight to the dpw and sometimes there gets to be a sense that certain people and certain issues get heard by more powerful you know forums than others and so one of the key recommendations that came out of the transportation plan was that there really needed to be a single point of contact. And if you look at the charge, that's actually where it starts, is that the charge of the TAC is to be a single point of contact. And I think it's reasonable what Tracy's asking about whether it really needs to be the single point of contact for everything, but that is where that concept came from and why it's being discussed as, as something that might go in the charge as opposed to just an operational thing. Yeah, so it is an interesting question you know, what, what requests um, do we, do we want even, you know, to, 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 to entertain. Um, and I, I guess part of that, so there, there's, there's another, another document that will shadow um, the, um, the charge and that will be um, our, you know, internal documents as to how we handle things specifically. Um, and that, that would include, for instance, um, um, or sort of the, the 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 standing request that we get this this report or that report from Guilford as to what has been asked for, um, but yeah. So so what I'm hearing is that we need in um, we need to figure out um, how how to filter those requests and and get the ones that that we want described in our charge, Marcus. Yeah. Sorry. Just to add to that, I. I have a concern with calling us the single point of contact. So a single point of contact would, you know, say whatever, however we get information into the system, we are now on the hook to reply to that immediately, you know, within 24 hours. And there's, you know, six, seven of us. That's not feasible. So I don't think we're the single point of contact. I think we're a focus point within the, the group. Uh, within the town council or whatever, but we're certainly not a single point of contact. Just, I just want to lay that out there. And I think Bernie, Bernie has a point. Yes, no, that's, that's well, well taken. Bernie. Yeah, I just want to second what, what Marcus just said. I, I don't think we should be the single point of contact. And I don't think we should be the contact per people for ongoing issues around maintenance and, um, you know, um, that really falls to DPW to take those concerns. Now we can, from time to time, if we want to look and see how well DPW is actually responding to that stuff, uh, that's, that, that would be a role. But I, I don't, I, I agree. I don't see us as a single point of contact of, um, we, we've got a, we, we are an advisory committee. And what are we going to give advice on? Um, you know, to, um, um, I mean, that's what I think we need to go back to and say, what do we, um, 
what kind of inputs do we want from other boards and committees uh, so we can kind of monitor things overall but what what are we what are we really looking at yeah and the charge maybe doesn't have to describe that specifically but certainly needs to outline or, or generalize it well I mean, so I think in both two and three, three, right, it's giving us a role of like summarizing. I mean, we're taking on, I mean, I know, you know, some of the people in the town council have sort of spoken out about sort of why is the TAC, you know, taking on so much responsibility and doing so much on its own. And the way both the two and the three are phrased is like in three, right, it says that we're gonna receive requests and assign people to do work. Like, do we have that? Is that actually our role as an advisory committee? And I could see where some council members might be like, wait a minute, like, why are you telling us what to do? Um, yeah, but I think, course. but one of the things that hit, like Chris Breslup had brought up at the last TAC meeting, right, is that, like, for example, to get us, to get the TAC on the list or to get you on the list, Aaron, about, different different projects that are being reviewed at different by different boards and committees of the town and if those are things and if they come to you or they come i mean those could be things that the tech could weigh in or not weigh in for example like the south university drive project or other projects that yeah, just to even be aware of them and have them on our radar yeah that that would that be they're happening that would be in that that shadow shadow down, down yeah of course features would include you know, a request, standing request that those kind of things come right. to us. Uh, so, I saw a hand that I forget whose it was. No, okay, Tracy, you, you had something else? Well, I just, is our meeting ending at eight? I mean, seven, we started at 5.30. Are we uh, doing an hour and a half or? It should be ending in, in seven minutes and- And, okay. um, <laughs> and Amber's in her car, I'm sure she's ready to like, <laughs> Yeah, no, that was on with life and yeah okay. that, that, that's that's I, I i intend even though there, there there are 17 more items on the agenda i didn't really expect to get to them um so um i'm i'm and, and your your point is well taken it's getting close to debate time um or dinner time whatever it is that's coming next um one thing that we do need to do before we leave is to talk about our next meeting um uh, before i open that subject um uh, I'm. Uh, I guess I'm going to volunteer uh, to um, to take these these four uh, primary roles and um, put our notes against it as much as possible. You now, Bruce, maybe maybe I'll um, maybe dragoon you to to give me a hand on that. Maybe we could uh, uh, in the in the intervening weeks um, pass stuff back and forth, um, trying to to fit in. Um, you know, current charge language with the primary role and take out some of the things or, or not include some of the things in the charge that we've talked about not including, like single point of contact. Um, we haven't talked about parking, but we may want to consider what our role is on parking. Um, just just as, as, a, as a, a, a recollection, um, our sense is that, um, you know, the parking downtown, you know, what's a charge uh, and, a, and a, at a meter, um, how much to charge for a, a handicapped license and a handicapped parking place infraction, whether or not there should be a parking garage or even parking on Lincoln, that's that's not part of transportation. Sort of parking along roadways outside of rental units um, that in a place in a way that might obstruct um, the other uses of that transportation network might be. Uh, Tracy? I mean, I, I would think with parking, right, so the TSO is looking at parking the town services committee, and I think it's because they're focused on like day-to-day -day things. So I would think some of the parking related stuff is very similar to maintenance. It's like very day-to-day, -day. it's like in the present. But I do, I do, I and mean, this can be a discussion for next time, but I mean, if the town is gonna have, like in terms of parking, like overall parking policy, like bigger picture parking policy. I mean, I do think that perhaps, and if you're also looking at townwide approaches, um, that I do think there's a place for the TAC. Like Guilford, you know, last year, earlier this year, right, he had come to us and said, 
while the DPW would like to ban on street parking, like on all these major roadways and make it official. And he brought that to us and it seemed like that was a good thing for us to weigh in on. And so I would, I would just think again, I mean, just as we think about the charges, like we don't want to just do all the little, little things like we, but it is, but parking, you know, like a long range parking policy does have an impact on transportation in a lot of ways. And so I would like that to stay in our charge. Okay, thank you. I, I <coughs> think that is a general consensus and a thumbs up there for Marcus. Thank you. Um, so um, um, I'd like to wrap this up now. If there's something, something, um, uh, a codicil that people want to to add to, um, so Aaron, were these you, four were points you, as our charge. Were you volunteering to draft um, uh, a new version? Is that what what we what you were just doing? Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna. I, I think um, unless somebody else is really dying to do it, um, yeah, I would. I, I'm offering to take these four points and and um, apply existing uh, the charge language to it, sort of as an exercise. Um, I think that'll go well until about oh the second half an hour when I'm going to realize that ah, they're really not compatible in in any significant way, and then I'll wonder why in the heck I volunteered to do it. Well, and, I mean, you can circulate things to us, too. I mean, it's very hard to do it all by yourself. And even I, if I it just, comes back to the tack, you know, we might have a lot of feedback. So I was yeah, just going to echo what Tracy said. I, it, if you want to circulate it, we could all try to help you with it. Yeah, sure. no, that's, uh, and I appreciate that. And, and maybe the idea is uh, to get stuff thrown on the wall and let people pick off what, what, what they want. Bernie? We we got to be careful not to deliberate yes. outside of the meeting. Exactly. Yes. So if you're going to send stuff out, people make comments on it and send it back to the chair. Right. Right. Uh, yes. We don't yes. circulate yes. it among ourselves. Um, we got to be careful with that. Your your point is well taken and, and well, actually is very much worth reiterating. Um, how about our next meeting? Meet in a bar and talk either. <laughs> well. In a bar. Well, we can yeah, that would be a chance. Anyway. Wait, are bar, are bars <laughs> open? Where I need to go. <laughs> well, the bars are mostly closed now, right? But that would be That's a cheap true. social gathering. And, That's right. Um, that would be a problem for other reasons. Yes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, so thank you is, for doing that. Is five thirty uh, on Thursday, the first and third Thursdays of the month, okay for everybody? Wait. The the are we doing the third and what what oh the first and the third so does does that mean that we're not meeting again until november november 5th why don't we just meet on the 29th we can but we talked about regularly doing first and third just yeah. as, as yeah, that's fine. yeah number fifth is fine with me first and third is fine but yeah, every yeah. once in a while there'll be a, a, a three week gap. Like, well, yeah. I see more than once in a while. It's often, but. Um, um, but won't that, that, that will happen next? Um, isn't the third Thursday Thanksgiving? No, it's the No, the, yeah, the fourth Thursday oh, is Thanksgiving. Okay. We're good. Okay, cool. Yeah, I right. haven't been talked about the holiday season yet. So, um, do, I mean, we I want to, do we want to wait until time. the fifth, or do we, do we, are we really anxious to add? I was done. So, so the 5th and the 12th would be our next meetings. Are we anxious to add one more meeting on the 29th? No. <laughs> I mean, it's a good idea, but I don't, we would, then we'd have meetings on back to back weeks, right? Yeah, if we, if we then came back on the first week. And, and uh, I, I think um, twice a month is fine. Um, just, just, generally and and and, and uh, I don't I don't know if we all agree to that if we want to meet more we can well I have a question about restarting the subcommittee like if we were going to have other meetings maybe the subcommittee could meet on the 29th or something are we able to do that you you, can, you are but you'd have to like do the same thing where you'd have to post them and so forth no of course we yeah so would there, would there be a like, do we, as I, I think I asked in the last meeting, right? I mean, I work at UMass, I have a Zoom account. And if we made the public meeting a public meeting, 
like is somebody from the subcommittee able to send out the invites or does it have to be like through town staff well amber even, can send out even if we even if we post the meeting so i mean amber can take care of that like she did last time it's just so, so that would be the same okay yes i'm not you. available on the so, 29th oh uh, well just in general but yeah well, I mean, we don't like on the subcommittee. We could meet on a Wednesday or a, you know a different day or something. Do you, do you still want to be on the subcommittee, Bruce? Uh, yes, I am going to be away that last week of October. That's why okay. I want to meet that particular week. Sure. Okay. But, Thank you. But you'd still like to be a part in general. Yes. So the the um, I think the formal that is that the the uh, the tax sort of ta agree and without objection, I think is is fine that um, we want the sub the subcommittee to start their work again, um, expecting that there'll be uh, occasional reports. And, and um, I, I don't know, uh, so Tracy, um, I don't know if there is something that you would want to send to all of us just as a reminder of what you're doing, um, or if you want to rely on me to do that, because I, I have... I have all of that that stuff um, or do you want to yeah so I would I would I would want us to, to I want there to be something for the committee to see as you as you get started um, do you want do you want to send us something I mean I think um, well I mean we have that matrix that we had worked on before and um, we were getting far along on that I think um, you know I could send that out or even I could Look at it again. It's been a little while, um, but we could we could send that out. I mean, I think we were trying to get it to a stage where it could. Right, we had gone through a lot of it with the TAC, and then we wanted to take it to the council, and then have okay. some kind of public forum or something. Yeah, it would be it would be so, nice if you included yeah. with that some uh, some description of your use of the terms, you know, loss of service and how that's mean something a little bit different on the matrix and and because the principles that that are outlined in that difference in definition are very important to um, level, level of service to, right so yeah so when, forget, lts when, level of service whatever it was aaron when do you want that by um wh wh whenever i mean we have three weeks now until our next meeting okay. so um so, yeah tracy you and i can work on that and do that mm -hmm. And none of us are going to read it until the night before the meeting anyway, so. Okay, sounds good. Um, so we will see you on the 5th at 5.30. And Bruce, is there a motion? I move to adjourn. For a second. Second. And thank Thanks. you, Amber. Yes, thank, thank you, Amber. Amber. Thanks thank everybody you, so much. Thank you, Aaron. All right. Thank you. Bye. 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 Hi. Right. Well, stop. Goodbye, everybody. Say bye, Arden. Bye, bye. Hey, Aaron. <laughs> Aaron. I heard a hey, Aaron. Yes, hi, Kim. Where is the? I I can't find the charge. Where is it? Can you send it out? Uh, I I will send it out. It's it's on the website. It is okay. on our page. It, oh, it's, okay. it's right okay, there. It's right there on the front page. It's uh, okay. it's 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 right there. Okay. Thank you. All right. It's on the left, in the bottom. Okay. Thank you so much. Good night. Photos on the right. Any event. Good night.